Hey, what's going on guys? I'm Freddy. I'm back from hiatus from Blend Logic. So just a little bit background about myself and my new followers on YouTube. Everyone's been uh, hitting me up. I just want to give you some background. So about five years ago, I started a business called Fest Fitness while I was in Seattle at a Dota 2 tournament. And during that time, I had this idea that people should be live streaming because I saw this content of a live stream video game. Um, like this little platform they did for Doom and it kind of got the wheel spinning of like, hey, you know, there's yoga, basketball, all this stuff. Suffice to say that six years later, we are now in a crazy time of Corona. I have all you, hope, hope all of you guys are staying safe. And um, <laughs> my Zoom meeting ended. Sorry. So back to the cut. I'll probably edit that out. Hope you guys are staying safe. And what I wanted to do for this video is help all my fitness yoga instructors, anyone who's trying to make content, trying to improve that quality. I know that a lot of you guys are on Zoom right now, but from my opinion of doing live streams for about five years and helping clients, multiple clients throughout the US, how to improve that quality. So uh, the beginning of this video is gonna be just straight up how my opinions, the software you already have, the camera equipment you already have, how to improve your Zoom. And then the next one is going to be how more advanced stuff, kind of like what you're seeing here. Uh, so let's go into the beginner content. So when you have Zoom, a lot of you guys probably have set up your websites to have Zoom content. You're sending these Zoom links out. So a lot of times what I'm seeing when I join the Zooms, or at least when I see my girlfriend joining the Zooms, is that people are joining with their iPhone quality going forward. So what that means is they're using their selfie camera uh, to do their videos. And so one of the things is, iMacs, most people have Macs or most computers, laptops, they're not that great quality. So what you'll see here is if I do this video with my iPhone sticking out right here, just so you guys know, um, you can see the quality just isn't that great. Um, so my basic advice for everyone who's wanting to get better audio quality, better video quality is when to join on two devices. <laughs> Sorry, I'm playing short. So you can see here, you know, the zoom quality, the, the back of your microphone is actually way better, or the back of your phone is way better at making content, uh, way better at, uh, you know, it's just a better camera. So the beginner advice for you guys, as I'm writing this out, obviously, um, is to have two setups. Most of you guys have a laptop and then join on the same thing on a iPhone or whatever phone you have and use the back camera. So yeah, just literally jumping right into it. that step right there will improve your quality, probably 10X. The FaceTime camera that most laptops and iPhones have is probably like four megapixels. Uh, don't quote me on that, but the back camera is significantly better, somewhere ranging from 12 to 16, depending on the camera you have. So now, um, you know, from a beginner setup, what I would do is if you have an iPad or if you have a phone, I would join on those two devices. One would be joining through a laptop and then the camera you don't want to use your, your laptop camera just use an iphone um i actually probably should have prepped but there's something you could get on amazon which is an iphone holder and if you get a, a little um like one of the, the camera tripods you can hook it up to a camera tripod record yourself so another thing i see is uh when i was joining or you know i was doing some pilates with um, my, my girlfriend, uh, there was a way that you could share desktop audio and what you do is when you're on your laptop here, once you, uh, most zoom has it here on the screen share option. Um, it's usually here in the thing, but I think once I start sharing, it will show. So, oh, here it is. Share computer sound. So once you start sharing, Basically what the what will happen is if you have music playing and you share again from your laptop, then you'll be able to have whatever music you're playing. And what I've seen people do is they turn their music up on their phone and they're trying to, or their laptop and they're trying to pick up them, like they're trying to pick up from their microphone to the laptop mic. So they put their speakers up. So, you know, just like you're hearing this on, uh, well, right now I'm doing a live stream, but if you guys want to check out how it sounds, if you have, audio um, that's what I would recommend doing is checking that one box right here share computer sound that will also improve your uh, your content or your the quality of your stream so that's another thing I'll put on my bullet list is share audio
share the audio from the computer. So, I guess I'll switch. There's no need to see me. So another thing that I think could be for more advanced individuals is, you know, the whole setup that I have right here with streaming and all that stuff. So what I want to do is kind of share with you the tools that I use. One is called OBS. The other one is called Streamlabs OBS. And then I have a HDMI input capture. And so, and then for this, I make this the virtual cam. So now I'm going to be getting into more advanced parts of this. Uh, let me know how the beginning stuff, if you're new to live streaming, how that worked out for you guys. And if you've been doing live stream for a while and want to get more advanced content, similar to what I'm putting out here in this YouTube, what I'm putting out in this live stream, uh, this part of the stream will be talking about that. So let's uh, check to see some content and then we'll be getting right into it. So in let's see here the advanced content so what i want to be showing is my obs snap device so something that's really cool that you could do in your videos is you could have a snap camera uh, that's just a little thing to improve your zoom quality if you want to joke around um, so i'll also put that as well snap camera so let's just go one by one and show you guys where the links are i'll put these on the bottom of the stream and how to get them. So OBS, if you just search OBS, you can bring up this first link called Open Broadcast Software. So what that is, is essentially, I have it downloaded already, it is this content right here. So as you're seeing, um, I have connected the Snap device. So that's how I get the Bane mask going on. Um, but the way that you start you know, connecting devices and stuff of that nature is, if you do the snap camera, once you buy this game capture HD60, so that's something I'll show you guys, El Gato. This link right here, this is what I have to capture the content you're seeing right now. So I have this H60, which is a USB device, connects to your OBS uh, or connects to your computer. I don't know why it's not loading the screen, but I purchased this about uh, last year. And what it does is once you hook up, if you guys have a DSLR or something like that, there's a HDMI that you guys could use and it will be uh, pretty easy to just have this setup that I have. So let me turn off the computer. I'm back, I'm back. So yeah, $168, it's kind of advanced if you're just beginning. I kind of would just recommend with the beginner advice that I said, but if you guys are just starting now, or want to improve, I would get this and you know, it's all about, in my opinion, helping fitness people help the people who are trying to stay fit. So one thing here, the other thing you need, I, my personal camera that I recommend when people ask me what camera, this is a good beginner starter camera, the Sony a6000, um, it's about $448. I don't know if Best Buy is still open, I think they do walk-ins and stuff like that, but this is a good beginner camera. It's what I'm currently using right now. Um, if you're just starting out, probably just use your iPhone camera and do those Zoom meetings. Um, but another way that you could get your iPhone hooked up, there's an iPhone Lightning to HDMI. And basically what this will do is instead of connecting to the Zoom call through your iPhone, you'll be actually able to set up the webcam of your phone as the iPhone. So basically what that would look like if I'm going to kind of recap everything I talked about. So first you want to get the HDMI capture card. Whoa, cannot write. So that's the Elgato HD60. That's just what I personally have. I did a little bit of research. I also have another device which is more expensive, but if you guys are just starting out, that's what I would use. The second thing you want to do is either get a DSLR or use your iPhone or your Android device. And then you want to have a way to connect that to this thing. So that's what this device is. And this is the lightning to HDMI. So this one will be able to connect the Elgato to your iPhone. 
And then as you start setting up your iPhone to make kind of this content like this, the last thing you want to do is to have software. And so I use two pieces, OBS and Streamlabs. And so yeah, let's go into how to configure your, your OBS right now. So I'm gonna actually open up a new OBS studios right now, and I'll just walk you guys right through it. This will be content. Again, you're seeing behind the scenes. What I'll probably do is make the beginner content and then the advanced content of this stream. And then you're going to see the whole output of me recording to all this stuff. So let me just do a quick YouTube, uh, Instagram post. Just get some, uh, engagement. If anyone on the live stream wants to ask me some questions or some of that nature. What up, what up guys? Going live on Twitch and Facebook, recording content on how to improve your live streams. I'm about maybe 30 minutes into it. If you guys wanna join, hop on Facebook. My friend is still social distancing. All right, so let's get into it. So listening to HDMI, I'm gonna show how to do OBS from scratch. So I've there's ways that you could have OBS content streaming, um, like multiple windows of it. So this is what I do, this is my setup. So when you first get into OBS, uh, you'll probably have default devices, nothing here, no, no content or anything of that nature. So let's just make a new scene collection. So yeah, once you start out, you're blank and you have sources. So what these scenes are is basically ways that you can uh, choose what content gets streamed or what gets recorded. So once you have the Elgato set up, you will do this uh, device capture. So this depends actually if you have, if you wanna use the snap camera filters or not. So let me back up and kind of just show you exactly how my setup is right now. So in snap camera, which is this, snap camera, you can download it. Once you have it up, you choose the Elgato here and then it shows you your content uh, here. So what I did is in my Streamlabs, I had the video capture device and I chose the snap camera, of course. So the reason it's not loading now is because it's already been populated in my previous OBS session which is this one. This one has it up, already has snap device, so you can't call upon two things at once. But once you get, oh no, it looks like OBS has crashed on me. Let me reopen it up. So once you get Streamlabs open, or once you get your camera open and you see yourself on, on, uh, on the device, there it is. Let me go to blank. Once you see yourself on the device, the next thing you want to do is have this virtual cam. So this is another thing. I'll leave all the links below. Virtual camera, OBS, probably that one. Uh, so this one is a way that you can then output your virtual cam scene onto what is shown on Zoom. So when you go on Zoom and you start video here, I mean, I could have chose snap camera, but you can see here I used the OBS camera. Um, that's just another way that you can link it. So recapping, because I'm going real quick, feel free to leave comments below. Uh, it's kind of weird, I'm showing myself twice. Essentially what's going on is snap device is showing, snap is going to the virtual cam, virtual cam then allows my computer to use this snap device to zoom. So that's kind of advanced way to do it. The beginner way I said in the beginning of this video. Um, so let me just draw out all the connections, Elgato, HDMI capture goes to your camera, or actually your camera goes into that, sorry. Camera, Elgato, OBS, and then from OBS you wanna set up virtual cam, and that's how you can start joining on Zoom with a DSLR or nice camera. Uh, I'm not going to get into how I do these live streams right at the moment. What I use is Streamlabs and I kind of have a setup where I could, you know, edit stuff. I'll make more content on how to make um, 
like better live streams but for the purposes of this video you know that's the basic ways of how to get started on you know how to improve your videos so again if you're a beginner just getting started join on a laptop and then join join on a laptop join on an iPhone do not use your laptop webcam but use the back of the iPhone camera and have it on you when you're showing instructions on how people can you know do the yoga poses do the fitness exercise routines that you're trying to do the more advanced way you know I should have actually set up a different scene for this the more advanced way is this whole OBS setup that I have right now where you have a capture card that captures your iPhone or your DSLR then you hook it up to your computer have the configuration all set up and uh, that will be it. And if you guys have joined on my live stream, I'm gonna do a little CTA call. I've been helping people do this, uh, one in 2014, doing business as Fast Fitness, and then doing now doing a DBA as Blend Logic. If you guys need any help with any of this setup, I'm gonna leave a link below so you guys can join on an email stream. I'm gonna be doing free Zoom calls. I'm gonna be doing free configuration, personalized configuration, literally helping you step by step. If you wanna do the advanced stuff, I'll help you set that up. If you wanna do beginner stuff, I'll help you set up the Zoom. So that's my CTA. Um, I've been doing marketing now for about four, three, three or four years, and then before I started out with live stream. So I guess that's a little thing they call social proof. Uh, if you go to joinfest.net, I literally kind of had let, left this hanging, but I've built about like 10,000 followers since 2014. So like I mentioned, I did a live stream of yoga. I did a live stream of Jordan Lawley's basketball clinic, Jordan Lawley, 300,000 followers on Instagram. Uh, back in oh, 2015, so a year after I started. This was the live stream content using the same camera I'm using here, but I did this at the gym. Um, I'll make more content how to make mobile videos right now. Here I'm here in my studio office. So that could all be cool stuff that you could show. This is what I posted on YouTube. And then I did a little thing for Michelle Barnard. Um, I guess I don't have the video up, but basically it was a yoga stream that we did. It's probably on my... I also did a movers and pacers live stream. Uh, but essentially what I did was help her start doing the yoga in the beginning. So I know a lot of this stuff back in 2015, 2014 was kind of early to the market. Uh, but nevertheless, um, you know, kind of just giving you some background how long I've been in this industry and stuff of that nature. And so what I want to do is help everyone now that we're here in this time. I just want to help everyone, you know, find ways to make content or help people, you know, stay fit. And, uh, cause you know, at least for me, I've been uh, snacking away, eating away all my snacks I got from Costco. So that's going to be the end of this YouTube video. Check the link below. If you guys have any questions, leave comments. Like if you like this video, sub if you loved. Um, and if you aren't following me on my live streams, what it is, it will be a behind the scenes of how I'm editing all the stuff, all that jazz. So thanks for joining. And I'm going to go edit the content now on my live stream. Thanks.